Bureau of Reporting. Hello comrades. So, video is delayed. Because I try to make volatile dead, detonate dead, body swap build. But it's so scuffed, so I just give up. Then I remember about the build I want to make long time ago, perma flask, pathfinder, blade flurry. It's kinda sad that in nowadays everybody play red blade banner, general cry build. Nobody play self cast blade flurry anymore, so, I wanna try, how good this build now without general cry. And first, pathfinder is no longer a good choice, since they delete this ascendancy, so the best choice now is cyan. With Cyan, we need to invest more into Flask mods, but that's not a big problem to be honest. I was leveling this character with Poisonous Concoction. So, how this build gonna work? It's based on two things, Permanent Flask, with Pathfinder Ascendancy, Good Belt, and Spike Concoction Node. And second, Anarchic Spirit Blade, with Secret of Suffering, this sword has unique implicit, which convert your physical damage to a random element, and with Secret of Suffering, we could easily stack all three alternative ailments, Scourge, Brittle, and Sapped. Leveling is done, and first what we need, is weapons, Anarchic Spirit Blade, 450 physical DPS would be enough. Say whatever you want, but I like this league, period. And another sword. So next, flasks, taste of hate. Ruby, Topaz, and Wise Oak, that's what we're gonna use in this build. So, to make them perma, we need Pathfinder, this couple mods, and Spike Concoction, so we can have Reese Cap without any items, which is pretty cool. Before I invest a lot of money into this build, I just wanna try it with super low budget. Abyssus, with Blade Flurry Stage Enchantment. This belt, with increased flask effect, and flask shards gained. Boots, with Chaos Rees, and Suppress. Low level 6 link. The interrogation, mandatory in this build. Random shitty amulet. Gloves, with Chaos Resistance, and Suppress. Two rings. And of course gems. So yeah, total cost, around 6 divine orbs, 4 spent on weapons. Well, the damage is okay, for now. We we'll also need Uber Lab. Actually my first reliquary key. Bought this very cheap timeless jewel, with 3 physical damage taken as fire damage. Also, while scanning trade site, found this really cool sword. Only 470 physical DPS, but it's also has 600 accuracy, plus global crit multiplier. So, it's time to recraft this weapon, as usual lock prefixes, and slam it with Veiled Chaos Orb. Well, this is absolute garbage, I was hoping for crit, or attack speed, or at least double damage while focused, but, we can still slam this sword with Warlord Exalt, 
we need physical damage plus maim, or increased physical attack damage while dual wielding. Well, that's unlucky. So, it's time for the real upgrades. Mark of the Elder, the best, and super cheap ring. And, Shaper Steel Ring. Damn, I love trading. Accuracy, tier 1 pulled damage, life. Could be better, but okay. Big cluster jewel, with life and mana leech. And medium cluster jewel, we need spiked concoction. Good. Next what we need, amulet with physical damage as extra elemental damage. Found this one. All we need, is to remove this energy shield. Then, since I don't want to waste two divine unlock prefixes, just slam it couple times. Well, we got lightning resistance, which ruin our build, sad. So best I can find, is this amulet, for 10 chaos orbs. Next one is super expensive thing. Massive Thread of Hope Right here Yes, this jewel is too good Velt, with Fractured Chaos Resistance during any Flask effect Which is basically Perma 50 Chaos Resistance Well, not the best belt of course, well continue craft it later New Body Armor, General Brigantin So, we need Suppress, Chaos Rees, and Life Instead of Champion, we're gonna use Berserker, Free Rage Generate, and 15% more damage. And Slayer Forbidden Flesh, Forbidden Flame Combo, Culling, more AoE, but most importantly, Non-Stop Leech, which I really like. New Boots, Chaos Rees, Life, and Strength. Gloves, with Attack Speed while Focused Mod, really useful thing. That's almost second Berserk. And also, Divergent Rage Support, linked with Leap Slam, which gives us free Rage Sustain, very useful between fights. So, let's finally test this build. Well, it feels good with AoE increase, and non-stop leech. Also, my new Atlas tree, with Metamorph, and Heist. Well, so far Blade Flurry feels good, at some point, I thought that's gonna be disaster. So my goal is to kill at least 2 Bermaven on this build, so this is not over. And by the way, if you like this video, leave a like, or comment, or both. See ya in the next videos, comrades.